In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Float Layout in Kivi, which will allow you to place widgets wherever you want in your screen. Now let's get right into it. Hello everyone, welcome back to Shore Code. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to code, then start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any future tutorials. Now today we are going to be using Float Layout, and as you might have guessed, it's another type of layout, and box layout arranged everything in boxes, whereas float layout, you can put widgets wherever you want by specifying the width and the height of the widgets. So I'm just in a Python file that we've been lurking in um, for the past few videos. So the first thing we're going to do is remove all of the box layout stuff that we were working with last time. And once we've done that, we need to import the float layout. And then we need to instantiate the float layout class. So to do this, we'll just create a variable called layout. And after this, we can just add some labels to the layout. And now that we've added all of our widgets to the layout, we need to return the layout to set it as our root widget. Now this won't work just yet because we actually need to set the position of the widgets as well as the size of the widgets. And if we just run it at the moment, we can see that the text is just overlapped. So to fix this, we need to define the position and the height of each widget. And we'll just add some extra parameters into the labels. So let me just explain what we're doing here. We're setting a parameter to be size hint in the label. And the first value of this size hint tuple is the width, and the second is the height. And the maximum value is 1, and the minimum value is 0. So they're kind of like percentages. So if we set the width to be 0 0.3, that means it's going to be 30% of the parent widget, which in our case is the float layout. And because the float layout takes up the entirety of the screen, the width of our first label will be 30%, and the height of it will be 20% of the entire app. And then for label 2, the width will take up 50% of the screen, and the height will take up 70% of the screen. And by the way, if you are finding this video helpful, a like would be appreciated, it really does help me out. Anyway, we need to set the position now, and we can do this using pause hint. Now, this is like a dictionary. We define what type of positioning we are using, and in our case, it's going to be center x and center y. And again, it's like percentages, so if we set center x to be 0.2, it means that the widget's x-axis will be 20% of the parent widget, which is the layout, which is the entirety of the screen. So the label's x-axis will be positioned 20% along of the app window. And for center y, it's 50%, so 50% of the way down will be our label. And the center x of the second label is 0 0.5, so 0.5% of the way along. It's center y, so 10% of the way down is going to be our second label. In another tutorial, I'm going to take a deeper dive into positioning and sizing, so don't worry if you don't understand this now, but make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that tutorial. Oh, sorry, I've made a mistake here. These shouldn't be rounded brackets. These should be curly braces instead of brackets. Now, if we run it, we can see that for our first label that is 20% of the way along, and it's halfway down, 50% of the way down. And for the second label, it's halfway along because 50%, it's also 10% upwards. Now, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. I do get back to you guys. If you'd like to learn how to use a map function in Python, which is a really useful trick to learn, then click on the video here. Otherwise, that's it from me. Cheers and goodbye.